Hi, boys and girls. So normally in our classroom, we read two Magic Treehouse chapters a day and we read a book each week. Well, because it's a short week and we're focusing a lot on Easter, instead of trying to squeeze a whole bunch of chapters into each day to get a book done in three days, I decided that I'm just going to read you a fun Easter story each day this week, and then we'll start our next Magic Treehouse story next week when we have more days in the week. So today's story is the Easter story, and the words in this book were written by Patricia A. Pingree, and the pictures are by Mary Ann Ott. This is the Easter story. <clears throat> when we celebrate Easter, we remember that God gave his son, Jesus Christ, to be our savior. Jesus made sick people well. He even made the dead alive again. Jesus chose 12 men to be his disciples. He told them that God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to die for us. But some people didn't want to hear about God. They didn't want to listen to Jesus. On Palm Sunday, that was yesterday, Jesus rode into Jerusalem. People shouted, Hosanna to our King. You can see they're holding the palm branches in the picture. And normally at church on Palm Sunday, we would get palms of our own. Um, however, this year, because we're all staying home and staying safe, we didn't get physical, actual palms. Um, I actually printed a picture of some palms and hung it over my door on the front of my house. <clears throat> Later, Jesus and his disciples ate the Passover supper. Jesus washed their feet to show how much he loved them. So this, boys and girls, is Holy Thursday when um, Jesus shared the first bread and wine with his friends and told them, this is my body and this is my blood. And so each time we go to Mass and we take part in the Eucharist, we are remembering this night on Holy Thursday when he shared that Last Supper with his friends. After supper, they went to the garden to pray, but the men who didn't like Jesus sent soldiers to arrest him. Jesus was sent to die. His disciples were very sad, but Jesus told them that he would rise after three days. On the third day, women went to Jesus' tomb. The tomb was open and Jesus was not there. That night, Jesus' disciples were locked in a room and suddenly Jesus was there. He was alive. Jesus said, go and tell everyone that if a person believes in me, they will be saved and they will live forever. And remember, boys and girls, we've talked about that a lot in our classroom, that someday our bodies here on earth will die. But if we believe in Jesus and we love him like he's called us to do, we will get happiness forever with him in heaven. That's pretty awesome. This is the Easter story that Jesus is alive today. And because he died for us, we will live too. The end. I hope you enjoyed this Easter story today, boys and girls. Have a great day.